Gold! Get that kid out of my crops, you. Yeah, take your kid and go. Oh, ow! He's coming back! This lady's crazy! Get out of here. Oh, welcome home, little bees. <laughs> Say hi, Fred. You're so rude. <laughs> All right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Vintage Story. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode, where we had built up a lovely apiary outside for apes. I mean, uh, for bees. Right, for bees, of course. So we're going to go today, in fact, and check on our skep over by the uh, beehive that we had found, because it should be populated by now, at least according to... Our uh, sticky note here, the to-do list says check the bees on 710. Today's 710, I think. Anyway, let's check the watch. Yes, July 10th, 1220 in the afternoon. Holy, holy smoke, sorry, it's getting late. So we got to get moving. And we also have a couple more things to do. I want to visit the north northern trader. And there's a flower patch up there to the north as well. So let's bring up that map. I'll show you all the way up here to the northeast. This is a trader. So we're going to go and visit that trader today and see if... They sell um, temporal gears is what we're looking for to fix up that translocator we found. And also a patch of what looks to be flowers right here. A big patch of pinky flowers and then a big patch of purpley flowers up here too. So the purpley flowers, I believe, is probably what we already have. Um, cat mint, right? But we don't have any pink flowers. So I'm thinking maybe that's a different kind of flower. And we really do want to put them in the uh and the apiary what what the heck where's freddy uh what does this say wabbit slayer of the year right we're, we're down by two stop the count what fred fred freddy what <laughs> there he is what are you doing in the apiary what do you mean stop the count oh fine i see how it is just because you're up right now seven to five you want to stop the contest the wabbit hunting contest that's not how it works pal it's not how it works it's wabbit slayer of the year the whole year you can't just stop when it's convenient for you now what does this say here freddy's famous wabbit stew free sample oh oh can i well thanks sorry for hitting you <laughs> okay don't mind if i do so what's in this thing anyway? It's red meat. Red meat must be rabbit boiled with onions and cranberries. Ooh, sounds sounds delicious. Okay, well it's free, so if it's free, it's for me. There we go. Mmm, that was great. Thanks. All right, I'll save that for later. Okay, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, now we do have to go and uh, get stuff done today. We can't just mess around, but maybe we can hunt rabbits on the way. Look at all the bones down here. Yeah, Freddy really slaughtered them and past us in the contest there's one right there we might be able to catch up or maybe even pass them that will give us six. Oh, what is this little guy it what is that it's a baby oh hi little guy hold on is that a baby yes it's a hair baby it's just a little hair baby so that's like a half a point right so we'd still be losing it would be six and a half to seven yeah i'm not gonna do that i can't kill a little baby rabbit anyway that'd be horrible all right let's go um let me grab a few things before we go and I think what we'll do is, should we check on the bees first? I don't think so. I think what we'll do first is go check the flowers. And then uh, we'll we'll fill up our apiary with more flowers. So let me get ready here. We're going to need some things for the road. I'm going to bring a pick just in case we do some picking. All right, let's roll out. It's shopping day. I got my rusty gears here. <laughs> That's how you pay for things around here. Rusty gears. Now, before we hit the road, let's grab the rest of that famous stew. Freddy's famous wabbit stew sample. Do you mind? I'm going to bring it with me. We have a long way to go. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> it is a long run to the northeast. We're going to need all the food we can get our hands on. So, I will meet you guys there. Where's the northeast? This way. Bonnie wabbit and a fox. I'm going to get this rabbit, and we are going to catch up to Freddy. He thinks he can just stop the count and then be declared the winner of this tournament. That's just not how it works. Where'd that wabbit go? Oh, dang it. I just don't want to get too sidetracked because we do have a long way to go. Ran up here somewhere. Oh, look at all the berries. Mm -mm -mm. If it's free, it's for me. And I see a widow sweepy bunny over here. Got him. Stop. All right, so now the score is six to seven. <laughs> Catching up. Uh, I see the trainer, and there's a wolf here too. Let's see if we can bring that wolf over here and train him to the goat. Get him, goat. Get the no. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, ow! Oh, gosh darn you! Don't you? Wouldn't you rather eat a billy goat? 
He's much bigger and fatter than I am. <laughs> All right, let's put the knife away. Let's go say hi. Hello? 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 Anybody here? There's nobody here. It's got a bed. It's got a basket, which is empty. And, uh, money. Hey, maybe nobody lives here. Ooh, let's take him. Oh, no. No privilege to build or break blocks here. It's claimed by a trader. Where the heck is the guy? Uh, maybe he's only here certain times of the day. All right, well, let's go check the flower patch then, and maybe he'll come back eventually. Or we might have to sleep here, and then he'll come back in the morning. I don't know what his hours are. They're not posted here. All right, well, that's not cool. Let's go check on the uh, let's go check on these flowers. Well, now it's getting it's starting to get dark, isn't it? Eh. I mean, it's still too early to go to sleep. Let's put the um. Put a lantern in. Oh, what is this right here? Oh! Oh, it's beautiful! What is it called? It's lupine. It's purple. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Look at that. All right. Look at all the flowers here. Holy moly. That's cat mint. This is all the same kind. I'm just going to grab a few of these lupines or lupins or whatever you call them. They're different, like, shapes and sizes, too, but they're all the same kind of flower. So that's what this patch is right here, the pinky patch. They're kind of pinky. More cat mint. Cow parsley. Oh, look at this over here. <gasps> what is that? Dwarf fuzz. Oh, uh, I didn't know dwarves are fuzzy. I guess they do have beards, big, long beards, usually. Check these out, guys. They are kind of yellowish. Oh, I love them. Now, what is this over here? Oh, it's a daisy. It's my wife's favorite. Wild daisy. Aww. Well, I better bring some home for her. I'll never hear the end of it. Man, this is like the flower jackpot. It's kind of like one of those flower forests in Minecraft, it seems. All kinds of flowers. More dwarf... Dwarfers. What is this little dude? It's a forget-me-not. I won't forget you. I'm bringing you home. Nice. All right, so much variety here. There's another daisy. I hear drifters. Here they come. And my little temporal gear thing down there is turning to the left. It's been doing that for a while now, even when the sun was shining. Maybe because it was getting late. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're in the basalt gravelly area. Interesting. Uh-oh. Ho, ho, ho. We've got ruins here. Maybe we should dig around a bit. It's all gravel. I do have a shovel. Let's do that. Maybe find something awesome here. Okay, now my gear is going in the other direction, the good direction. Look at all those stars. That's cool. Uh, let's see what's down here, if anything. I don't like to do this in the middle of the night, but what choice do we have? There we go. There's the vase. It's a cracked vessel. Let's crack it even more. See what's in. Turnip seeds. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We need more turnip seeds, don't we? Oh! Check this out. A ravine. I don't think I've seen a ravine in a vintage story before. I mean, it's not nearly as impressive as the Minecraft ravines. Is it just a little crack? Yeah, it's just a small crack. Oh, wait. Can I keep going in farther? Yo, hold on a second. Crack is expanding. Hey, we got quartz. Quartz here. Neat. Okay. Well, that was something interesting. Um, we don't need the quartz, however. So I'm going to get out of the crack now and head home. <laughs> I just thought you might want to see that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There might be something down this end. Does it lead to a cave? Just a lot of quartz. That's pretty cool. Sometimes you can find gold and silver in the quartz, though. So they're worth looking into. All right, well, there is a cave here. Check it out. Hmm. Should we go in? I think we're in. I guess, I guess we're in. Yes, we are. Oh, what's this? Zinc! Guys! Zinc! Woohoo! We found zinc! Put it on the map right here, because I don't think we're going to grab it right now. But we'll come back. We need zinc. We need zinc to use it the bismuth to make black bismuth bronze. Right? I mean, I could grab some right now, but I really kind of want to focus on the bees, and we don't really have any space. Well, we do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, I guess I'll grab it real quick here in the middle of the night. Let's just go this way and see what's up. Well, look at this cave. It goes right out. Wow, this stuff is really high. Zinc is super high up. 
in the, uh, oh, jeez, don't do that. Does gravel fall down on top of you in this game? I think it does. All right, well, let's not do that then. I, I guess I'll just grab it. Might as well while we're here. There's no sense in passing it up and coming back later. Let's see what we got here. How many chunks and what kind of chunks? Medium chunks. Well, those are good. Oh, somebody digging around up there? I'm um, not seeing a whole lot more zinc around here. Nine so far. That's not very good. Can't seem to find the disc-shaped vein, if there is even such a thing here. It looks like a tiny, tiny amount. Holy smokes, I almost fell down here. Look what I just opened up. A hole. It leads down to, looks like, quartz and maybe a waterfall or something. Let's, um, how do I drop just one torch? I think this will work if I throw one torch down there. Look at that. That's cool. Love the dynamic lighting. Our mental health seems fine right now. The gear's not budging, <laughs> which is weird why it was going down before, and now it's not moving at all. You'd think the deeper you go, the more it would turn to the left, meaning we're losing our minds. All right, let's put the torches here. Yeah, see, I wonder if this leads out. Oh, look, there's more zinc right here. It's mixed in with the quartz. <gasps> gold! Native gold right here. There's gold in them are hills. And I see stars. I see stars. Hey, this fell. That gravel fell. Do I see stars or did that, did that just clip? No, I do see stars right here. So somehow this gravel had fallen... When we were down there, maybe? I don't know, but this looks really great. Um, okay, let's put the torch over here. Uh, yeah, that's weird. That gravel's right there. All right, I'm going to put a little cave opening symbol right here, which is the little ladder going down, so we can find our way back down again. Assuming we'll come back later. I still want to take care of the bees today. That's on the to-do list, and I do not want to ignore it, but how can you ignore this right here? Look at all the gold. Just don't have any space. All right, let's get rid of the basalt, first of all. And I think uh, we can get rid of Freddy's famous wabbit stew bowl. And we can get this with bronze, right? Yes, thank goodness we brought our tin bronze. Oops, that's not gold. There we go. Where is it? Look at that. 20 units of native gold. It's bountiful. Bountiful. It's bountiful gold here. Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 yeah. I wonder if there's any silver around here, too. We'll get silver and gold. Oh, wait. They're not all bountiful. This one's a medium chunk over here. This one's bountiful. And this one's rich. They're all different. Isn't that interesting? We don't need the hides. We've got tons of hides back at base. So I think I'm just going to toss those aside. Looks like a bunch of zinc over there, too. Oh, yeah. This could be the zinc jackpot. So we're going to have bronze... Um, bismuth bronze. Black bismuth bronze. It's going to be glorious. All right, I'm going to grab all of this. Just keep your eyes open. Don't need anybody sneaking up behind me. All right, guys. I think we're done here for now. My pockets are full. We have some quartz. We have some gold. We have zinc. And we can always come back here later and do some more mining. I still want to get back and do the... Um, I want to go grab the skep should be ready so let's head home oh there's a bunny that could tie it up there's our tie there's our tie right there. there's our tie tie guy ah dang it hide in the grass got him there he goes now all right we'll grab his meat and do we have space for that little hide <laughs> gonna drop the dirt gotta take his hide he's our tie gotta prove it right Going in the wrong direction. There we go. Yeah, we got to prove it to um, to Freddy that we got seven wabbits. Wow. What was that? That sounded large and scary. All right. We're home. What is going on on my roof? Who's here? Somebody's jumping down off the roof. <laughs> what are you guys doing in my crops? You better not be eating them. Did you guys... <gasps> Who did this? Wait a second. No. Ow. Hey, they're my crops. It's my yard. Get out of here. Oh, you little rascal. Get that kid out of my crops, you. Oh, you're going down. What? 
keep jumping down and stomping all <laughs> my crap. Yeah, well, you gotta go. Apparently, you cannot fit through that uh, through the gate. There he goes. You better run, Mom. All right, kid, get out of here. Come on, beat it. I don't want to kill you. Go, scram. Can they go through the gates? Maybe not. No, kid, the gate. Come on now. Oh, look at my cabbages up. Not quite yet. I don't think they eat crops. Um, and I don't want to kill the little guy. Dang it, my hands are full right now. Okay, mom, I think, is out of the way. Oh, she's leaving her kids. <laughs> yeah, they do seem kind of rambunctious. I would probably do the same. All right, let me just dump all this stuff out. Whoops, not there. Uh, how about I'm so empty? We just have to make some space right now. Get rid of all these ores. And then uh, we'll go and get the bees. I really just want to go get that done today. Like ASAP. Let me just drop this. Oh, I think mom's back. She's not giving up on her kids after all. All right, then. Oh, she's looking in the window. Get out of here. You trying to hit me through the window? Oh, lady. Holy smokes. All right, you know what? We're going to get... Grab that axe. <laughs> I did not expect this drama coming home. Jump, quick, get through. She can't get in here, right? All right, kid, come on. Get out of here. Go. Beat it. Try not to fall down in the pit, please. I'll never hear the end of it from your mother. No, 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 that's fads. Come on, you little turkey. Whoa! Ah! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take your kid and go. <laughs> oh, ow! Way through the fence. Man, she's mean. This kid doesn't want to leave. Good, get out of here. Wow. All right. Yeah, we're going to have... We have to fix something with the roof. Apparently, they can climb right over the house from the other side and drop down in here. Bunny is probably... Oh, she wants more. You got your kids. Now get out of here. She's coming back. This lady's crazy. We got crazy neighbors around here. All right, take your kids and get off my property. All right, let's go uh, talk to Freddy here and show him the proof that we have tied the tournament for Wabbit Slayer of the Year. Check it out. Look at all... Oh, wait a minute. Right here. I got one raw hide. I know. Well, I had to throw the other one out because I was full. What? You don't believe me? He doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me. Fine. Look, I got six wabbit meats. You can't get that from one rabbit. Hey, uh, all right. You know what? It, that's true. It's the rules. We have to show the pelts. We only have one. So it looks like Freddy's still going to be up by one, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll change the sign later. <laughs> right now, let's get all of these awesome looking flowers in here. We got daisies, we got forget-me-nots, we have dwarf fuzz, uh, and cow parsley. We already have plenty of that. All right, we got to dig up the grass here first, and I might as well collect it while we're here. And then we'll go get the skep. I know we meant to do that all day. We've been talking about it. All right, cow parsley. Is that all the grass? It's all the grass. Okay, let's uh, put a little forget-me-not here in the front because they're so cute. It's a little and adorable. Oh, we can't put it there because of the sign. Oh, Freddy. Sorry, buddy, but your sign, it got to go. Got to go. You know, oh, jeez. Did I just whack you? I didn't know your head was made of wood. That sounded like it was wood. Um, little forget-me-not here in front. Let's get some color in here. Some dwarf furs. Yeah, a little bit of color here. Some yellow. Very beautiful. And how about some lupine? Lupin? Whatever it's called. Yep. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at this place. Oh, yeah. Wild Daisy, too. Ooh. Loving it. Loving it. Wild Daisy here. The bees are going to go wild. Wait, no. That's, no, we don't want them to go wild. We don't want the bees to go wild. <laughs> That's the last thing we want them to do. We want them to stick around and be, uh, be domesticated. I guess technically they're not really domesticated. But you get the idea. All right. One little forget-me-not right here. Some more furs. Dwarf furs. Holy smokes. There's just so many flowers in here now. There's just maybe too many. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to have too many. All right. That is amazing. Okay. Now, let me empty my pockets and get ready. And then we're going to go and get the, the skep and bring it back here. Um, and I will update that when I get back. <laughs> No time right now. Gotta go. Uh, have you seen my shirt? <laughs> it seems to be missing. I think that crazy goat lady destroyed it. Yeah, she did. It's gone. She bucked it right off. At least we still have the hat and the shoes. But yeah, wow. 
Man, she did some serious damage with those horns. All right, let's have some uh, Freddy's Famous Wabbit stew before we go. That should fill us almost all the way to the tippity top. And a little bit of red meat here. And now we can go. I have an extra scap that we can leave behind after we grab ours and take it. So, yeah, let's, let's go down to the south. I will meet you guys there. It's going to take a few minutes. It's not too far. Hopefully the wolves leave us alone. Yeah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get in the get in the pond. Let's get no. Oh, oh, I have no shirt. Leave me alone. Crazy goat lady already took it. Get out of here. All right, there's the bees. We can see them. We'll probably hear them any second now. Yep, I hear the buzzing bees. Let's check out that scap. Oh, it looks like it's populated. Ooh, is it? Yes, it is. Nearby flowers, fourteen. Population size large. Oh yeah, and how's the natural beehive doing? Population size is poor, but they'll they'll uh, they'll repopulate. No big deal. So now to pick this up, this is interesting. We have to we need a slot over here, a free slot. So we have to take that off, and now we have to I think it's hold control and slide over here. Oh yeah, check that out. So that's how you get to these slots. Interesting. All right, but we just got to pick it up first. So pick it up. I don't want to break it. If you break it, the bees get angry and they, uh, they chase you around and sting you. So I think we just... Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's there. Yeah, so now to place it down, you hold down control, and then you can access it this way. Very interesting. Okay, and let's put down the empty skip. Right there. There you go. Fill it up good. We'll be back in a little while. Oh, there goes one now. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, let's head back home. And I think I'm going to heal up in case we run into that wolf again. Might be coming back for us. Oh, ow. <laughs> Ran right into that bush. <laughs> I thought I was going to clip through it, but not that kind of bush. You can clip through the fruity bushes. Yes. But not the solid bushes. Oh, little chicks. Little chickadees. And this is where we have to fix. We need to put something over here to keep the crazy goats out of my crops. All right, we're back, Freddy. And we got the scap fully populated. And it's going to be glorious. We're going to get honeycomb and honey. And we can make wax and all kinds of cool stuff. So there we go. We just plop it down on the maple log. Oh, welcome home, little bees. <laughs> Say hi, Fred. You're so rude. <laughs> Fred's going to come in handy later when we have to break the scaps for the honeycomb. And they do swarm and get angry. And apparently they'll go after the dummies if there's one around. And we happen to have... A resident dummy right here and there we go so now the bees are here they're happy they're going to swarm eventually from this skep oh it says population poor i think we lost some on the way home hmm interesting um but they will this will regrow anyway and then they'll eventually swarm to these two skeps and then we'll have our honey and honeycomb and all that fun stuff like that very very exciting all right let's put this back where it belongs over there get our space back and now my friends we're gonna call it quits so i hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time i'm gonna go update the tournament count stop the count what the heck is wrong with that guy <laughs> all right let's go grab some chalk i'll see you guys next time have a good day bye bye